and it's live and we're live it's all live no one is here of course but that does not matter because it's happening and what is happening a venti event is happening we're this is venti events no one is here yet people are coming in we're having fun we're making the magic happen cheers cheers for being here cheers for being alive cheers for having this moment happening so if you don't know Venti events is where caffeinating meets complaining. I'm Danny Murphy. My pants ripped the minute before going live. I felt so legit. I don't know if Kate's watching. I felt so legit. I'm like, we have a an icon joining. So I wanted to bust out the shots. You know, I, I brushed them on my face. I did the whole thing. Put on pants that I haven't put on since March. And truly, side to side, Ariana Grande style, but not sexually. Just like the seams ripping. That doesn't matter yet. What matters is that you guys are here. We're having a moment. We're having fun. This is Venti events. So like I said, it's caffeinating meets complaining, but we're not caffeinating right now. We're getting a little tipsy. God bless. I'm going to tell her about it when she joins, but this is, oh, what's up, Bravo TV? (laughs) I'm like, Bravo, like, what's happening? Like, help, help a bitch out. Did you get the part where I ripped my pants? Wouldn't that be so fun to watch on television? I'm just saying, I provide hours of gold. That's besides the point. What matters is I am already a drink in. So I made, I'll tell her about it a little bit, but I'm going to tell you guys before she comes. I like to make a theme cocktail. I What I lack in cooking, I haven't turned on an oven since like two years before the Civil War. I just don't know how ovens work. They're not for me, but I love pouring things into things. So that's what I did with this. As you can tell, it literally looks like, I mean, it looks like algae. Like I'm not, I'm not happy with the with what it looks like, but what I did do, I made a champagne with Chastain because of course our guest is Kate Chastain. It, what I did, I did the like, champagne or like champagne from like a gas station because i'm in new jersey i'm not doing the real deal but that mixed with pineapple juice is it good i'll finish it and that's kind of all you have to know about it but how are we all doing okay Ooh, every kiss begins with kaylee joined i'm kind of jealous of that username i'm like i'm jealous of everybody two years before the civil war yes that's the last time someone touched my body and the last time i turned on a stove if anyone (laughs) for any of you historical buffs out there i am very alone very unwifeable, uh, very, but also somehow always bloated. I don't know how, I don't know how, I'm, it's kind of impressive how little I cook with how much weight I can gain in quarantine. Did I, do I curl my eyelashes every day? No, they're literally all I have. My eyelashes are truly the only, like if you, I would go in to show them off more, but then you would see how bad my skin is, how this hair is flailing, how like, I'm just like this large from Zara, really, it should have been XL. Like I'm, I'm fully like, Madame Tussaud at a museum, because if I move in a certain direction, it won't rip. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not really going to work in my favor. I mean, it, everything is ripping. Are we all at that stage of quarantine where truly I, like, I have no clothes left to, like, to rip? I'm at, like, September, I don't have a closet. Like, if anyone is looking for a Brooklyn apartment, ooh, she, okay, Kate, you want to be in? She's tired of hearing about my ripped clothes. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> Waiting for Kate Chastain. I mean, that is my memoir. Waiting for Goodell. Waiting for Kate. And she's here. Hi. Kate Chastain. I mean. Can you, can you hear me okay? I can hear you perfectly. Okay, great. You also look amazing. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm making my cocktail. Oh! What are you cocktail? having? Well, I don't know. I filled everybody in. I made a champagne with Chastain. I, I like that. It as a surprise. I mean, you can take it. Take it and run with it. But I would say do a different recipe. <laughs> How have I never figured that theme out? I mean, here's the thing. Um, Peacock should have that as a show. I'm into it. And I'm... what's funny is I, it took me like two months to realize I didn't have a wine opener in this vacation rental because all I drank was champagne. And then you just pop that. So and also it works as a workout too. You're just like, boom, here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm having vodka. <laughs> and Anything else um, in the mix? Well, Oh, looks like we're at a cranberry. Okay, so I'm also going to do um, some soda. So okay, there we go. I don't need the shaker then, really. <laughs> you just, you but, don't need a straw. You're just like guzzling it. But I decided, because this is venti vents, I'll yes. use a coffee cup. <gasps> theme, okay, I themed for you. We both, we have like literally the gift of the Magi. We theme for each other. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. 2020 love. I All know, right, so. okay. While you're shaking that up, I mean, okay, Tito's, everyone loves your Tito's. I also love your, your shaker so much. Oh, thank you. But I want to know, because Venti Vent, and also what I love about us is that we love to complain about everything and everything. Love. <laughs> I feel like I would, like, 
I could be like going in the elevator and I'd be mad that I'm not taking the stairs and text you. I would just like shit talk anything with you. And I would be like, oh, same. Guess what? I was thinking the same thing yesterday. <laughs> but like in your car to pick up wine from like a to-go. But that's still ready. Ready to talk shit always. Right. Okay, God bless. So what I want to do, I want to start this off with, well, you're doing a shot. I have a little shot and you have a little shot thing too. I want a shot of espresso so now. Yeah, so a shot of espresso now. So this is gonna be something that pissed you off this week or in the past few days that you just wanna get off your chest. Okay, <laughs> so many to choose from. Um, one that really pisses me off is when people comment like, oh, you're an idiot keeping your mask on while you're Sorry, Captain Lee keeps calling in. Oh, right, if you keep losing me. Can you hear I me? Also, guys, can we? I, yeah, I'm like, oh, I can hear you now. I also love that problem so much. Captain Lee keeps calling. I'm like, I have no captains calling me, Kate. Okay, I have no, I have no one calling. He me. really does. He's so sweet. It's really sweet, oh, and I, I think it's I because he sent me. He sent me um a like a ring light stand, and I think he's probably oh. calling to make sure I know how to put it together because he accidentally ordered two. So cute. Anyways, I love that. Wait, also, can I say that is the modern engagement? Like, instead, fuck your engagement ring, give me a ring light. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It is a millennial engagement. <laughs> yeah, he got me a really good ring light. Okay, so right. I think okay, so you were saying about the mask. Masks in the car, like, doesn't affect you at all. Maybe sometimes I'm running just a block, like going from one store to another store, yeah. just running it out to take it off, take it on. Like, people get upset. They're like, also, what idiot? Nice I've got a whole assortment. I actually, the rhinestone yeah. one, that was at the beginning of the pandemic when I was like, ooh, let's be extra. <laughs> I wore it one time into a, a store, a grocery store, and I was like, I feel like such an asshole. Because it was like, rhinestones, rhinestones, rhinestones. Everybody's like, what is she doing? <laughs> You're like, COVID. And they're like, yeah. what is she doing? <laughs> it's like, it's aisle eight, ma'am, not a runway. It's You're in the uh, bleach aisle and dog food aisle. Wait, wait, and also Go ahead. Oh, that pisses me off so much because I mean, like, I don't give a shit what anyone does in their car. I mean, like, I've seen some people like, like, deep throating a Wendy's sandwich while driving, and I'm not, I'm not gonna pull them over. Honestly, that's one of my favorite things to do. Like once a month, <laughs> I'll go to McDonald's, I'll get the ten piece nugget meal and a double cheeseburger, and I park my car and it's mm. staring at a Walmart in my car, and I just enjoy those ten minutes so much in the privacy of my vehicle <laughs> i love that that's your therapy i i oh. eat mcdonald's at walmart <laughs> no i just while looking because that's in oh. the same parking lot because i'm not going to drive and eat i want to be able to enjoy it no. so i just pull right over and then a real depressing moment is when you're looking at that walmart and you're scraping the bottom of that nugget box looking for that 11th nugget depressing it's never gonna come mm -mm. that's where the cheeseburger comes in anyways another thing that i do not understand and it's been kind of pissing me off and maybe you can help me with this. I think you are the person I needed to ask. I'm ready for it. What is with TikTok? <laughs> oh, I, because I, I have a 401k, so I don't know. Like, I don't, like, it's very, I'm jealous of it, though. Nice flex there, by the way. Oh, I hope you know. I think I have it. I've never done anything for it. So I'm not I, sure what it is. <laughs> I'm like, I pay my taxes. I hope yeah. if you're watching and you're an accountant, hit yeah. me up because I'm confused. Yeah. Okay, but TikTok. Are you on it? No. But then, this is very funny. Last night I thought maybe I, my friends were like, look at this TikTok. And this is where, where it's all happening. And I was like, I just don't want to spend that much time. But no. then I would start, then they get paid per views. Uh, they so, get paid like, per yes. Right, like a YouTube channel. And I was like, well, what, <laughs> why am I wasting my time here on Instagram for free? <laughs> like, let's move it over to TikTok. So I like Google's the exchange rate. Uh, like what they're getting paid the on. The exchange rate of TikTok. I like yeah. how it's like your power currency. Now. I think like euros to TikToks. Yeah. Well, yeah, because Twitter followers and Instagram followers, mm -hmm. there's like an exchange rate, and then I think TikTok to Instagram followers, there's an exchange rate, and then you get paid per view, and it's nine cents per view. What? And then I so I went well, I that's what somebody told me, and so last night I went to one of my latest like Instagram videos, saw I had three hundred and forty thousand views. Did the math on my calculator, I was like, $30,000, I'm gonna be rich. And then we realized I had the exchange rate wrong and I was gonna make $30. Oh, okay, oh. that's 
that's the difference between a house and another handle of Tito's. So I mean, like a house and a house bottle of wine, but still. Right. So, that's, so do you have a TikTok? I I do, and my thing is, I'm always like, oh, I don't care about TikTok. I try so hard. I never do anything. I never stick the landing because I don't know the references that the kids like the kids that is popular now. Because people will be like, I'm like, oh, now Jason Derulo's cool again, but I knew him in like 2006, and I don't know how I don't know how to like bridge that difference. But I saw Leah and Tinsley just did the WAP thing, so I'm like. Mm -hmm. That that's, one was, that's kind of what was like, do I need- That's to, what motivated that's, you? I was like, oh, okay. I love them. That was really funny. Is this something I should be doing? But like, I feel like it's, and I tweeted this last night after I realized I would only get $30 a post. I feel like TikTok is um, just basically an online borderline teenage strip club. It's a <laughs> lot of teenagers <laughs> dancing very sexually Ooh. in like- that's the thing. I'm like, well, I get arrested if I start watching TikTok. I really don't know what the end game is. I'll be like, oh my God, I love this person. And they're like, I'm like, what's the end game with that? Um, don't watch TikTok near a playground. I don't know. <laughs> but also kind of what your point, like, because TikTok is so popular, but I kind of feel like it's like a popular club or like a bottomless brunch place. And I'm like, sure, everyone's going there and people are loving it, but that's not for me. I'll be on my couch, bottle of Pinot Noir and just like letting them have their moment. And I'll be watching like, who? Who knows? The we'll be on Instagram. Yeah, I'll be on Instagram. Yeah. Just refreshing, stalking an ex. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm failed. My day's busy. Yeah. So you're not on it. And also, but then Kourtney Kardashian is now best friends with this 19 year old TikTok star. And it's Isn't all that weird. Just, yeah. And so, I, yeah, you, we're, things, we're supposed to say things that are pissing me off. But this is more like, I'm like, am I pissed about this? I want to get the details because I feel like I want to be pissed about this. That's my thing. I want to be pissed or I want to be paid about it. Do you know what I mean? Those are the two things. Yeah. Because like, I will happily, I will hold the boom mic for Courtney and Addison. Yes. To like be eating, like to be laying at their pool, like, oh my God, Tuesday. And I'm like, the Kardashians have not known what a day of the week is since 2006. Like the weeks don't matter to them. So I don't, they're like, they can't be like, oh my God, Monday. And I'm like, you don't know, like, is Monday the name of like the resort you just bought? It's very It's weird. It's like Kanye and Kim's next child, Monday West. <laughs> There's a little Monday coming out. I mean, I hope, who knows what's going on. Like, she's a real Tuesday. She's, <laughs> I love it. I'm sure she's nice though. I'm, wait, do you say, that is my favorite. That's how I either start or end talking shit with anybody. I'm like, okay, they are so nice, but, and then it's like, I call it like the, like the butter slide. Like I'm sliding down butter where I'm just like shit talking, Whoopsies. ripping them apart. I'm like, oh my God, did I just slip on margarine? I yeah. <laughs> I, I love her. I, I mean, I really love her, but I'm just, but just going to say, so what about you? What are you venting about? Well, my thing, and it's kind of with, cause you brought up mask and I mean, there's no, well, it's funny too, because like we talk about like in quarantine and I'm like, at what point of quarantine will it just be our life? And we don't refer to it as quarantine anymore. It was very misleading when they called it the new normal. Yeah. Because I thought they meant like the new temporary normal. And <laughs> just like a couple of weeks ago, it hit me at, oh, you, you should have just called it the new permanent. The, the new per permanent. Like, the, the like this new plus. forever. Yeah. Well, it's funny because it's kind of like when like Britney Spears, when she was like in the early 2000s, everyone's like, oh my God, she's like auto-tune lip syncing. And now in 2020, we're like, oh, she's just singing. Like we've just changed that definition. We're like, we're not in quarantine anymore. We're just living our normal, our permanent. It's not our new normal. It's our new perm. This is this is forever until further notice. And that's why I kind of because what's pissing me off this week, and I don't know if you've been seeing these too. Everyone on pictures when like they're at like a group dinner or something, and they're like, "We socially distance. We only took down our mask for this one photo." And I'm like, I, "I'm not. I'm not Barbara Walters asking you the hard question. I'm not your mother. I don't give a shit about that. And who is that for besides yourself? You know, like I'm just like just post your little like lasagna and move on with your life." I just don't really understand. Like, no, no, we're all sitting next to each other and consuming food, but we're outdoors. That's, yeah. <laughs> They're like, don't, I just, yeah, I just licked Noki off of their face, but we were six feet apart. I have a very long tongue. We're doing fondue. We're passing it around, <laughs> but uh, we're outside. We're like, fine. we just hooked up in the bathroom, but like we kept our masks on. <laughs> that's another thing that's really confusing that my, one of my friends brought up. They're like, so, COVID dating, if you're like having a one night stand, do you like sleep with each other with the masks on? Do you? I, I mean, I, I have not. I do. do you remember Y2K? Yes, I do. That was like Barely. the last one I've been touched. I felt I've been, I have not had any dates. I've had nothing going on. 
So I don't know about the rules of COVID dating. I don't know either. I know it's hard. Well, what, so kind of with that. So what have you, with COVID dating, what was something that would piss you off? What is something that would piss you off on a first date? Your first date deal breaker? Um, vegan. Oh. Just because we're not gonna be compatible. Um, Girl, they need to eat clams, yes. <laughs> or, I mean, just vegan, you can't have dairy or cheese. It's just like, oh, you're so heavy. Because I actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying this because the last date I went on, he was a vegan. In and Florida? it was, I, yeah. I, oh, yes, I remember. Oh, my God. He, he was such a vegan, and he got the vegan plate, and he said, it was just, it's just like every meal. It's, you have to eat to survive. Yes. And, to be a vegan is just to make every decision to survive difficult. <laughs> and so for and me, that's annoying. You're there like half slab and ribs. You're like, what the fuck is going on? I'm just saying like the chickens like laying the eggs. It's okay. <laughs> well, also my thing with that, I feel like anything like vegans are kind of like people that are like are in bands in the sense that they only talk about it. So like, it would be him being like, oh, okay. So like I'm in this band and it's happening. I'm like, I don't care that you were a drummer in 08. Like, I don't, that's not doing anything for me. Can we mm -hmm. talk about how nice my outfit looks? Like, normal yeah. first day Back to me. Yeah. Back to me. <laughs> not your weird dietary needs. Okay, and also, as I spilled my champagne, which I stained on myself, I have a few questions for traveling, because that is something, do you miss traveling? I mean, of course, yeah. you're a, a travel queen. And so I, I, I miss it a lot, and I don't know when we're going to be able to do it again. So I want to bond over the shit that we used to hate while traveling. Oh, let's, let's bitch say. about that. I love let's complaining. Look. Okay. All so right. I had to like go between LA and New York quite a bit, like twice a month this past year. Okay. And uh, that's a long flight. It's like five hours, a... pushing six. Now That's two Star is born. Yeah. <laughs> which I walked out of three times. What? Uh, well, there was a bar in the movie theater. So I kept oh. going. going. Uh, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, on theme for the movie. <laughs> I didn't even know how it ended. Like a, a month later, I was like, oh, I, I, like, can you believe he died at the end? I was like, what? <laughs> I had no You're like, idea. no spoilers. It's 2020, oh. the movie came out. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Sorry if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so <laughs> I think that if you, I, I prefer window seat. Um, yep. I, because I like to, I think it's cool to look down on the planet. Oh, I rather than myself. And I don't, yeah. And I'm like, I can lean. It's like a little extra. I don't want to be aisle because I don't want to like, Get, be, have the aisle people and like um also so but however sometimes if i'm in the aisle i don't get the window if you're in the window seat as it's your role as a responsible adult to control your bladder you one bathroom break max. only max and that's if you like really it's an emergency it's just rude because you're like you have to like tap it excuse me and they're like, oh, I'm plugging their earbuds. And they're like <laughs> stopping their movie. And they're getting up. And everybody's like, what's happening? And then you're like shuffling, shuffling. You go to the bathroom. And then that person's like, well, I'm not going to restart my movie because I know they're going to well, come right back. Yeah. Then you get them back. This one bitch, sorry, not sorry. Um, Never sorry. She went twice to the bathroom. Once, twice, three seat. times, no lady. That's my twice thing. I was like, Too again? I, how do you I, make it through life? And also it's one of the things, because when you're the aisle with that, you end up just becoming a flight attendant because you're up, you're like, okay, I'll clean. You're like, I'll freshen up some drinks over here. Because you can't unwind and you can't you're relax. Handing. Yeah, you're like, oh, you're waking up like, hey, they're coming. They want, do you want the crackers or the nuts? <laughs> you're and like two also, hours to Tucson, yeah. <laughs> Air travel time is three hours left. Do you want to start that movie? I also <laughs> dislike it when the stewardesses or flight attendants, whatever, come down the aisle. And at the very end, they're about to land. And they're like, they got a bag and I'm like garbage garbage <laughs> garbage and I feel like they're just pissed off they're like basically just yelling like, garbage garbage <laughs> and I don't want to like especially from the aisle seat or I'm not gonna gather with my hands my garbage because you know that when the plane lands as you're coming off you see a whole cleaning crew coming in they're gonna go front to back they're gonna clean it up and then it's always when it's, when there's someone in the middle seat too, they throw their shit everywhere. Like I've had you who under my seat that I'm like, I'm not Ooh. drinking chocolate milk on a flight. I have, I have class, I have demeanor. And it's, so you end up being in charge of everything. And I do feel like they do say garbage just cause they're so pissed off at everyone. They're like, you piece of shit. I'm like, no, I think there's a piece of, you know, something over there. Yeah. Like you garbage, whore, you trash, bag. trash. Yeah. <laughs> worthless space. Yeah. It's very much, I feel like that's when they kind of like get off with everything. 
Another like, thing, have, have you seen working. this happen? People, what do you feel about this? People that go to the bathrooms, speaking of bathrooms, without their shoes on. Oh, I've done it once, but I was embarrassed. It's because my walk it's like, It is a walk of shame. Because like, if it's a real, like a, like a long flight, like a cross Atlantic or whatever, um, you know, I'm probably taking a little like relaxing things. I'm drinking. I was oh, get and, and then you're put on. Sometimes if they're flying business, they give you like the comfy stuff to put on. Ooh, it's like accoutrements. It's like nice socks and blankets and jammies. You're all snuggly and it's dark and they've got the dark lights on. I don't want to put my knee high boots back on. That's yeah. But and you're gross. kind of you're like I'm I don't want to I don't want to like be peeing on my boots because you're I, when I'm when I'm on my flight too. It's, I'm always taking, I'm like, it's now or never. I'm not in control. I'm having 17 glasses of wine. I don't think I could tie a ship. I don't, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't hit me. And the effort to put them on in the seat, it's just like, it's embarrassing. I am, I do feel shame about it, but I um, ultimately choose the convenience over the shame. And now, do you ever fight for the armrest? I feel like you shouldn't have, like, if, um, yeah, I mean, yes. So okay, I said to I, refill my glass. I have another one right here. Don't worry. We're both drinking, guys. We're good. Okay, so another thing I hate is um, when people behind you are talking loud and seat behind you. Like, oh. or, you know, like, if you, if I can hear you, or if you can hear me, like, it's just you're, you're invading my thoughts. Like, it's nice to, like, at the beginning, it's like, where are you from? Okay, da, da. but then you're go going across the country, and they still haven't started, they ha still haven't stopped getting to know each other, and you're over Texas. Oh, but... <laughs> So one time I hit the call stewardess light, which I never do. That's also rude. No, you did not. I, I hit it. I hit it. And the flight attendant came by and she's like, can I get you anything? Because she's also like, why are you hitting that button? That button's not really supposed to be You're used. Like, I need personal space. That's what you can get me. I kind of said that. I was like, do you have any of those noise canceling uh, earplugs? And I said it so loud to, rem to, so, to let the people behind me well, know. No. If you can hear me, I can hear you. And the sort of like, what? I was like, the, you know, conversation plugging earbuds. Do you have any of those? No? Okay. You're like, I have one Harry Met Sally behind me, and I, I don't know when it's going to stop. Well, I do I, everything. That wasn't Because I thought you meant like a couple talking behind you, and I'm like, I guess that's kind of annoying. But just two strangers having a meet cute, that can happen. I love eavesdropping on that at a bar where you have room to maybe move around. I was a hostage to their conversation. You were, you were, you were truly trapped. You were so trapped. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone brought up, someone asked a question, have you ever dealt with a seat kicker? I feel like I'm always in front of the seat kicker and it's always a child and I'm like, yes. can I yell at a baby? I'm like. <laughs> I, did, I did once. I mean, it was another long flight. <laughs> Are you allowed on planes anymore? You're just this stuff. child was like, I think it was with his like grandpa who was hard of hearing because it was a five hour flight and the whole time he's playing a video game. He's like, oh yeah, got it, ooh, ah, what? I'm, like screaming. And I was just like <laughs> losing it. And I, I don't, I forget what happened. Finally, like four hours and I was like, excuse me, um, can you just like not scream? And when we were landing into LA and it was like, there's like mountains, it broke my heart and I felt like the most evil person. I saw the little four year old child go, Mountains. He like was excited to see them, but was afraid oh. to talk. And I was like, I'm the worst person in the whole planet. I would have loved, imagine, I could also see you. I didn't know how the story was ending because now I know how you operate on planes. I thought you were going to turn around and be like, Santa's not real, kid. And the kid's <laughs> just like, bawling eyes. No, I just asked him to like, please, like, hey. But uh, he, he they didn't like the fact that I suggested that. So he was a scared child. Anyway, mountains. I, I was like, oh, great. I have now that child is now going to be afraid to speak on planes for the rest of his life. Oh, afraid to speak in general. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that kid will just be like, can I talk? And everyone's like, no, we asked you what the question <laughs> in geometry is. And he's like, no, yeah, no, little Bobby, we're asking you to, what's two plus two? He's like, four. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, wait, and here's, do you, when you get out of a plane, because I'll frame it like this before I start shit talking the, their energy. Do you, right when the plane lands, do you stand or do you take a breath? Oh, no, I don't stand. Thank you. No. No. What? I, I don't understand what, why is, why, this isn't a Pilates class. We're not doing aerobics. Like, you can sit and wait to taxi. In. You're stressing everyone out. And also, you're, you're, you're fucking up the flow. Like, you know, <laughs> it's just like, oh, get, oh, 
we all want to stand, but then when, you can't stand because you're like, oh, you're hitting them. It's just it's okay. Full, it's like it's a Madonna music video. You're just like that, yeah. No, I sit. I sit and strike. I'm like, no, I will not stand. And I like look, kind of look around at people standing and like, ugh, standing. Okay. And enjoy what that. Makes me laugh so much is that you know, I I've never seen someone not regret standing, but when they stand, they can't do the sit down because it's very mm -hmm. much like, no, I'm standing, and then they're uh -huh. like. They have to commit. Put to sleep. Yeah. But then they're awkward. They're like, "Am I leaning? Am I? I'm not getting my suitcase out yet. Am I, but why am I? Why am I standing?" And then yeah. the sitters are like, "Mm-hmm." Mm -hmm. And someone just said, "And then all their asses are in your face." And what I will say, it depends where you're flying to, because if like you're going to San Francisco, that's not the worst case. But sometimes you don't want everyone's like Arizona ass right up in your breathing area. Yeah. Um. Then the, this is a final, my final complaint about flying. Mm -hmm. It's the final end of the journey. Usually, baggage claim. Ooh. I'm like, do we have, I need like a, Hold on. Higher, a shot, yes. Okay, shot baggage right claim, when everybody, and you, it's like you've been through something, you're like, oh, there's the woman in the polka dot dress with the loud husband, and you guys are all like, you're like, you know each other, but you're all like, it's, and also, if you had somebody next to you the whole flight, and you kind of like were cordial or something, Oh. it's like, it's like the morning after one night stand at the baggage claim, you're like, listen, it's over now, we don't know each other. Yeah. I don't know you, you don't know me, don't stand, like, you're avoiding eye contact, but then, then you hear the sirens, it's like beep, beep, and you're like, oh yeah, luggage is coming. And it starts going, and people start rushing. Stay with three feet away from it. Oh, they fully, they do like a bull ride. Like they just like stampede in, they knock yeah. over everyone, and just to try to find, we all have the same like bag from Target. You're not gonna be able to find yours yet. You can wait and a also, few seconds. I already wait back because you move forward when you see yours coming, you know? Don't block it. I'm like, excuse me. Just, when they make a barrier, and you're like, wow, it's baggage claim really is a stressful time for me. It's a baggage claim, oh, and it's always the worst, because it, it really is, like, flying in general is like a one-night stand, because then when you get off, you're just so raggedy and you're just like, oh, okay. yeah, when you get off. Huh. Like, <laughs> depends on the flight. If you yeah. want, you just want to Uber home with a bagel and, like, forget about your worries, mm -hmm. but then you have to get that last, you have to get that last step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. Okay, so here, now that we're done with I miss Probably. traveling and one night stands. Thanks, you know. But, so here we are. Here we are. And make sure you don't travel for a one night stand in a pandemic because let me tell you, it's never worth it. No, it's, it's not. not. Don't, I would never say you should never have a connecting flight for Dick. And that just, that should be. Ooh. That should be, I like, be, that's a good life lesson. I feel like this is when I announce I am actually the new VP. I am, I'm going to be running. So that's my mantra. I'm, I'm putting myself in the mix. I like that, like, literally and as a metaphor. Yes. Like, you know? Okay, wow. Okay, so now we're going to a little game, Kate. I love games. You love games? I love playing games. All right, so it's called Sip or Lip. So you have your drink <laughs> with you. <laughs> and you got some lips with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to be asking you some questions, some okay. just like in the, in the Bravo sphere, and you can okay. either answer them or take a sip. And I'm excited to play this Win, game. Win-win! Like, all right, 20 minutes in, because now I feel like there'll be some lips happening. All right, the first one, the first one I'm going to ask you, I mean, I feel like this news shook us all last week. And I want to know your thoughts and your opinion on Dorinda getting fired for the best, for the worst, any parting words to her? She made it nice. <laughs> but now it's time. I think she's, she seemed a little tired last season she seemed a little stressed yeah tired means stressed in a polite way. medley needs to go to club med and just relax a little bit like you know get a I tan think she, yeah just like go to berkshire's but i mean she is iconic she i was shocked i was completely shocked I, because yeah. it's like she's a she's brought so much she was so strong from the gate and berkshire's were, was like an extra housewife that's, That's my favorite friend of Housewife, the Berkshires, <laughs> Blue Manor, Bluestone Manor. I can I say the Berkshires, Blue Manor has more personality than Elise, and that's just me talking. Kate said nothing. Went, that's me. Saying. I went through a, a roller coaster of feelings about Elise. First, I was like, "What? What the hell is she doing here?" <laughs> then I was like, "Oh, I actually like her." And then I was like, "And now in the most case, I'm like, oh, never mind." I'm like, "Why are we pulling people?" It was a whole, a whole to do. Okay. So now I'm going into, do you have, and you can lip or sip, right. the worst, and 
by worse, just, it could have just been a bad moment. It could have been, I think, the worst Bravo celebrity you ever met. Yeah, for or sure. Maybe. Yeah, right. I mean, let me choose which one to tell. Okay. It's like the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> Ooh. I I've got two. Ooh. Um, I was on Watch What Happens Live with Luann, and um, we were like, 60 seconds, 30 seconds until going live. And Andy, being the great host that he is, said, oh, Luann is right when she had her engagement party on the yacht. Yeah. And I was, he goes, Luann, you just had, we, you just got the yacht and Kate works on yachts. And she goes to me, well, I guess you're below deck and I'm above deck. And then they were like, we're live. No. And I was like, okay. And so the other one, well, now she has no deck, so that was... <laughs> it was, a, first of all, it was a 130-feet yacht, and it was <laughs> borrowed from a friend for a night. Like, wow. Something borrowed. That's my favorite. That's what I thought was something borrowed. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, and then also, Stassi, I went to an event for the Watch What Crappens guys okay. at the Laugh Factory, or I don't know, some comedy club in West Hollywood or something, like two years ago, and I was there with a good friend of mine who actually had done a lot of stand-up over the last 10 years at that club. And she basically had her college graduation there. Like, this was her living room. And she also works in the, in the reality TV business. Oh, okay, yeah. But behind the camera. So Stassi didn't know that. And my friend and I were having a great time. And she's like, oh, this is the server. She's like, he's worked here for 40 years. And he's like, hi. I almost said her name. It's like, hi, my love, how are you? And we were having a great time. And then yeah. the person next to me, who I don't know, taps me on the shoulder. And goes, Kate? And I was like, yeah? And she's like, who's that person with you? I'm like, oh, that's my friend. And uh, Stassi was in the booth on this side. And the girl goes, Stassi just texted me and said, your friend and you are being too loud. <laughs> Slow down, Tro. What? Stassi Which, giving class and elegance questions? That is shocking. She, she no, a, like a basic stranger tapped me on the shoulder and was like, I just, got a, I just got a text that Stassi would like you guys to stop having so much fun. Which, but the irony is that the friend I was with, this was like her living room. And yeah, yeah. she kind of is, has a pretty high ranking role. Well, and now the other irony is, will Stassi have to sell her living room because she's no longer a problem? Oh man, I just wonder what she's doing with all that merch in her garage. <laughs> when it's just pictures of her on a sweatshirt. I just imagine Bo being like, like Stop babe. Stop eating a hot dog. Yeah. Oh, what with Bo? Being like, being like babe, uh, this might not be a good time, but what are we gonna do with that bus wrapped in pink in your face? In the in the to remove it. She's like, I like you. Like they're gonna be living in the, her bus, her bougie bus tour. They've got options. <laughs> So I uh, I want to sip though, anyways. Even though I gave you two. Okay, well, you this might this might be one you want to sip. Um, your most useless co-star on Below Deck. Someone who, when they got on or whenever, you're just like, I would, I my life would be better if I never met you. Uh, Halo, my dog Halo would be a better addition to this um, crew. I mean, I'm gonna sip only because there's so many to choose from. We don't have that kind of time. <laughs> yeah, Instagram will cut us off. Okay, I like that. But all the deck Halo, hands. Halo needs to get on a TV show. Courtney, it's not I you. Oh, yeah, Courtney's watching. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh, Courtney, we love Courtney. Halo. Halo's very much like his mother. He's like aloof and like kind of bitchy. Halo. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I'll no, Halo's like FaceTiming all of her dog friends. Like, okay, my mom's fucking drinking Tito's on her phone in the kitchen <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> This time she's not talking to herself though, so that's an improvement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are your thoughts on, and some people are asking this, Brandy versus Denise, whose team are you on? What's happening? Um, I don't know if many people know this about me, but I play for both teams. Ooh, and... oh, she's a league of their own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're so witty. Um, I might. You're like the wittiest person I know. Uh, <laughs> now my champagne, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Um, that's okay. That happens after a couple glasses sometimes. Oh, I hope you know, after this goes off and like I take off my pants that rip, I'm just going to be bawling my eyes out to Adele. It's just yes. it's my nightly ritual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, self-care. Um, what was the question? Oh, I know, at first second I was like, are we just crying now? I'm like, are um, people watching? Um, <laughs> yeah, are we doing so, this? 
I forgot, I love- I forgot that this was. I forgot this wasn't Facetime. Uh, Brandy versus Denise. Okay. Whose team are you on? I think that I'm on Team Denise because I met her at BravoCon and she was so nice. Mm-hmm. Like she made a point to come up to me and was super complimentary. But now knowing what I know, I'm like, well, no, well, well, I would. I'm maybe it was more than complimentary, but I would. Love I do. That. I know she was so real and cool. She's like, hey, I'm Denise. Ooh. I'm like, I know. And she was like, I just really enjoy. It. She was so sweet. But and I think that um, I think Brandy wants attention. I think Brandy wants screen time. Really. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like truly crutching in like I know I heard the camera breaking news everyone I have a feeling like I Brandy feel like might want up. attention in screen time yeah. but I do I do think they probably hooked up I mean and also yes like yeah I do think they do and I kind of just want to be like I feel like Denise's buck up was she should have just been like yep and instead of just being like I don't know her like she, gave, she did a whole Mariah Carey and then all those girls who Love them. They're not the best at having storylines lately. So they're just kind of like jumping on the Denise train with that. I know. It's, they're like, it's, you can't have a flaw in that group. They're like, oh, there's the weak one. That's our storyline. Yeah. Like, like Kyle Richards will fully jump out. Mauricio can jump on me. I don't care about that. But I mean, like, that's kind of the whole situation. All right. So I do you, I wonder, do you have one that stands out the worst the worst dressed Bravo celebrity ever. Like the person who you see and you're like, you leave the house at like, ooh. Well, I mean, the first one that comes to mind, and I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. See, that's what, that's why, you know how you say like, she's lovely, but I say, <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I just think Ramona with the, with this, with the necklace and the, I just feel like it needs a little more, Edge, I think Dorinda's really good at being dressing edgy. I um, I think Dorit's really k- stepped it up a notch. Uh, I think she has. Yeah. At first, she want she was like a little more tame, and Erica Girardi was like the, the avant garde. She was a Lady Gaga of Beverly Hills, and she then really Dorit does. was like, I want to be the Erica Jane Lady Gaga. I want to be of the, yeah. Beverly Hills. <laughs> so then she had a season where she was like mm, working on it, and then Dorit got there. And now she's almost like gone. Now she's like hitting her stride. Well, now that she owns a place where you can get breadsticks, she's like, I gotta bring it for my breadsticks. I you know, know, I had no idea what Buka whatever I was. Didn't either. I don't know. And so I actually thought it was. I was like, oh, it's like an LA hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> and then my friends in LA were like, I can't believe it's just like it's like an Olive Garden. I was like, no. An Olive Garden is a compliment to it. She's you're like, oh my god, you're like calling five months in advance. Hi, can I have a reservation for Buka de Pep? Oh, okay. oh Buka de Pep, because the Capri room, she, I mean, I did like the lemons and stuff, but I think she did a great job, but I must, I, when I saw, found out, you know, the vibe, I was like, wow, they must have paid her so much. I hope, I hope she Good got for her. her. paid her so much, and that's why she can dress so well. She's, she's really got there. Mm-hmm. Would, uh, if you could join a different Bravo show, someone asked, what show would it be? I guess Southern Charm because oh. I'm Southern and your charm. Um, thank you. Well, can and I say where I want you to be on? Yeah, sure. I want you to be Leah's new friend on Roni. I know that would be fun, and I you guys would be, party. Leah is so dope. I love. I like. Love her. Oh, cool. Love her. Um, I just don't know if. I don't know if New York Housewives is like a good match for me. I'm scared of the Housewives a little bit. They, I feel like all of them, like, I wouldn't be surprised if one time at a dinner, they're like, oh no, she just like stabbed her with a butter knife. And they're like, oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And I just, I don't, I never joined a sorority in college. And I mm. don't, and so I don't, I don't know if Housewives, I like Southern Charm because Patricia Outchul, I love so She's much. Nice. And um, Naomi, she, it's actually from Naomi's line. I was gonna say, I love that. That is cute. I, she, I, she's really nice, and her clothes are cool, and yeah, so a Southern Charm. And Charleston's like amazing. Oh, I like that. All right, so two more questions in the lip or sip. I also like that you're just lipping, and it's the best thing ever. I know, I'm so thirsty. Uh, <laughs> if you could give the axe to one Bravo show or one person on Bravo, who would it be? 
Vanderpump rules, get out of here. <laughs> you don't care about Danica or whatever her name is? <laughs> it's like the coked up hills. <laughs> but like with a <laughs> But Teen Vogue wouldn't even let them in. They're just like, we don't need, no, what are you doing here? They, they don't work at the restaurant. Besides Raquel, I feel the only person who works there is James's girlfriend, who's still busting tables during the pandemic. I love, do you, do you know what I love for Raquel? She was the real underdog. Man, she, she has, just like Dorit's fashion journey, yeah. Raquel, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, three seasons later, everybody's like, we love her. I think she's wonderful. But this was after Bravo. I love James Kennedy. He reminds me a oh. lot of Chef Ben on Below Deck so much. Like, charming British accent, kind of sassy, kind of. My candy, but, yes. Yeah, they're very similar. And I've met James a couple times, and he's so sweet oh, and nice and, and not cocky at all. And after BravoCon, I had to fly to LA, and obviously so did they, and we were on the same flight. So I get a DM, and it's from James. He's like, are you at Terminal Thing? I was like, yeah. He goes, turn around. I turn around, and Raquel's sitting, like, you know how the seats in the gate are, like, um, back to back? Oh, like, side to side. Ra Raquel had a big bow, a ponytail and was, like, directly behind me. And I was like, hi. And James, like, sitting in the aisle across, and she goes, he goes, it's Kate. He goes, my, she goes, my sister? My sister Kate. And he's like, <laughs> she, she is just so darling. Was she had her bow? Darling. She, yeah, that's darling. the first. <laughs> well, she's very little bo peep of, the, of West Hollywood, where she's just kind of like, I feel like she'd be like, where, where are the sheep? And they're like, this is, this is on Hollywood Boulevard, babe. Yeah. I love how, like, she's, but she's strong and can, has her convictions and just like, she's not premeditated. She's not like conniving. She's just super innocent and sweet and gorgeous. I like that. Okay. And final I, question. I've answered question. all of them. You've answered all of them. Well, now this is just a vent event question. If you could end one trend of 2020 or before, what trend do you hope stops when we enter 2021? Ooh. <laughs> I don't follow trends, so I'm gonna sip. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And we'll, 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 what about we'll, you? We'll, I would say I'd be very happy. Like, should we just have TikTok be done? So well, we don't feel bad about ourselves? It, it, does, it does make me, it makes me wanna throw my phone off a bridge. Yeah, I, oh, I, and then I'm just like, I'm like, should I film my phone falling? Would that give me like, views on it like I don't know Ooh, that's that's meta okay yeah. but or are we getting TikToks tomorrow Danny we are should we do TikToks like I mean like I feel like we could try to do I feel like our WAP dance would go viral for the wrong reasons uh there's if no I, wrong reason on TikTok no, like I feel like if I did the WAP dance there'd be issued like a national emergency people would have to rebunker they'd have to shelter in place because they're like Danny just did the WAP dance you'd break the internet <laughs> I just, does it have to be dancing? Like, I feel like we could make other funny videos. Oh, we could do. We could do something. We could, but, but it's like, that's, that's a real job. Like, that's why I went full circle. That's why I Googled, how much am I getting, gonna get paid here? Because this is like a lot of effort. And it's like $7 or 7,000, we'll never know. Uh, I can't, I'm not, I, I'm not good at math. Oh, uh, no, and that's why we're drinking on Instagram Live. On so a Tuesday. Say, on a Tuesday. Can I say, Kate, cheers to you. I mean, cheers I love you. you know I love you. You're the best. I mean, are you gonna finish your Tito's now? Should we? Should we? Chug, should we chug a little bit? You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Captain Lee just beeped in again. Sorry. Oh my god. So you know what? I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you talk to Captain Lee. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, babe. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, so fun. Guys. <laughs> you even with the pose out, you're so good. It, I love. I, I'm stuck on her on her smile, which is the best thing ever, guys. That was Kate Chastain. Heaven on earth. And also that was Venti Vents. I hope you had the best time. I hope you all got a little drunk, as drunk as me, because did you see I just switched cocktails midway through? I don't know what's happening. I don't know who I will text after this. I don't know who I will cry to after this. All I know is that I am ordering french fries. So love you all. I'll be back next year. Cheers. And now I just need to, oh my God, so fun. I miss you all already. Love you all.